Hey guys, Pie Guy Rules here, and welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. Yeah, we are here. Whoa, getting a phone call apparently. Oh, hi AJ, how are you? This is Madeline speaking. Whoa, no falsetto today, guys. <laughs> Have you had success catching Pokemon lately? Uh, yeah, we caught a Magnemite. Came very close. Oh, what is this? This isn't plot related, that's just someone trying to bug me. Alright, what do you guys want? Heh, <laughs> look how duty is surprisingly boring. Hey you, please don't go near the Weather Institute. Hmm. Is it this building? Weather Institute. Interesting. Just random building out here in the middle of nowhere. Okay. So it would appear that this place... Oop. Yep, this place has been seized by Team Aqua. It's over here. Oh, sleeping everyone upstairs. Ah. Let's, yeah, let's take a rest. Good idea. Okay. Good. There's a nice place to heal right there. And it's a bunch of aqua battles. What's a kid doing here? Ugh, yeah, no falsetto. Ugh. Do, 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 do. Still getting back in the swing of things, but I'm feeling more, more used to this than usual. Or than last time, I suppose. Ah, Carvin, huh? Um, I should actually note... I probably said it before, but this is the area, this this long stretch that we're walking on is where I caught my first, and only caught, uh, you know, naturally caught in the wild, randomly, uh, shiny Pokemon, which would be a Carvinha. Yep. I was looking for a Feebas, which is a rare, oh, why did I do that? I was looking for Feebas, which is a rare, um... A rare Pokemon that appears in like six panels when fishing uh, in one of the pools over in this in this road area thing, and yeah, I was I just kept you know fishing, 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 and I f came across something unusual. It was a Carvinha, but it was I think it was green. I don't know. It was weird colored, and it had a, the sparkle. Now this was back. This is like right when I was getting back into Pokemon. Um, yeah, Magnemite. Um, so like. Yeah, I didn't know what this was. And and when I originally played Pokemon as a kid, you know, I didn't look at Bulbapedia. That I didn't, you know, look online to see what, you know, what was what with Pokemon. I had no clue shiny Pokemon existed. Like, I didn't, um, I think I played Silver as a kid, but, like, that was a long time ago. And, you know, like, that that was, like, little detail about the uh, the whole shiny Pokemon thing. I, did, I, I wasn't thinking about it, I didn't expect it, but I saw it and I was like, well, this is really unusual. You know, if the game glitched out or this is something really cool. I, I knew that, and so, of course, I caught it, and, um, yeah, then, and then the rest was history. Unfortunately, I did I did end up trading it, uh, you know, I ported it up to Platinum, and I ended up trading it for a Mew, which was awesome. It was a legit Mew from, like, a legit event. Um, as far as I could tell, like, I checked out the stats and everything, and it, it looked to match the, uh, the event one, so. I mean, that's cool that I got that Mew, but, uh, for sentimental sake, I, I really still wish I had that Carvin, huh? Um, Carvana, whatever. I, I, I admit that I can be pretty bad when it comes to pronunciation of some of these Pokemon. Um, you know, I just, I calls it as I sees it, because you can't trust the anime, and I haven't watched the anime since, like, you know, the original anime. So, yeah. L luckily, Nintendo nowadays has been, like, you know, actually telling us the names and pronunciations, I should say. Nah, no double battle for me. I probably shouldn't be fighting Team Aqua with my Pelipper. That's probably not, uh, not the smartest idea. Uh, type matchup-wise, I should, I should bring out my, uh, grass type there. Geico. Mm. Alright, when, when Pelip- when- yeah, I want to keep calling him Pelipper. When Gulligan faints. We'll send, uh, send Gecko out. We're slightly over-leveled here, it looks like. Oh, that could just be Gull again. Um, it's okay. Ooh. Ooh, flinched. And there we go. Alright. Um, I guess against a Zubat. We'll, we'll try Newman, seeing as he won't get... He doesn't get much use against the rest of the water types that these guys have. It is a bit of a shame that they still decided to give the teams... You know, your traditional, um, poison-type Pokemon. Because it, it's a nice mix-up to see water and fire ones, but it, it doesn't happen as often as you think it 
should. Like, there's Poochie in it, you know? It's just a dark type. That's not a water type. Um, you know, I guess they wanted to stick with the whole evil team to use dark and poison type Pokemon. Just because that fits. And that's alright, but I mean, that, that seemed like it was more Team Rocket shtick being, you know, mafiosos uh, than anything else. But, what you gonna do? Right, Newman? Yeah. Right. Wait, well, why would I look at your Pokemon? What? Uh, some of the dialogue options are really weird. Um, let's see. I think yeah, Geico could use the levels a little bit. Yeah, again, Zombok's still a little bit under level, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, its levels. It's not going to affect its HP. I mean, I guess it will affect its attack and defense and stuff like that, but I don't know. It. With with um with him it's either you know I'm smart in using him when the opponent doesn't have an attack that can hurt him or you know if any attack hits him he's done so you know and if he can't be hit by an attack well even if even if he can only do like a little amounts of attack at a time even if he only does a little bit of damage at a time uh, he'll still wear it down as slow as it is. I like I like Carvana. It, it's it's a cool looking Pokemon, um, and it, it's got an interesting type of water dark. Uh, I don't like what is it Sharpedo? Is this it's an evolution name? I don't I don't think it looks as cool um, or sounds as cool, but uh, still pretty awesome. That was easy. <laughs> Plans being spoiled by a kid. Get used to it. It's how the Pokemon world works. So I guess since we're on this little evil team thing. Uh, that, that's one thing that I would hope that X and Y, the new Pokemon games, for the 3DS coming out in a few months, um, I would hope that they really mix up the evil team thing. Because we've been through, you know, Mafia members, we've been through two rival evil, 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 evil teams, we've been through, you know, a team that wants to take over the world, a team that, and a team that wants to, I think that was, that was Plasma's uh, goal, that they wanted to take over the world, right? Yeah. Oh no, that, I'm sorry, that's not Team Plan, that's Team Galactic. I, I think that was Team Galactic's plan, right? Take over the world kind of type thing. Um, you know, and Team Plasma was whole separate Pokemon from people, you know, black and white type thing. So I, I think they've really run the gambit. I would, personally, I think an interesting twist would be if they had an evil team that was just Pokemon. Like, the Pokemon were the evil team. Like, there was a group of you know, maybe a few species of Pokemon, or like one specific type of Pokemon that just terrorize people. You know, and they went around doing that, and they, you know, they wouldn't have to talk, they just have to be at least somewhat intelligent. They could talk, maybe, um, you know, or it could just kind of be like the whole mind ready thing that some Pokemon do. It could, it could be like some really powerful psychic types are taking over this nation, like, like Pokemon are rising up. And, and you know, in, in a way that maybe explores a little bit, it, it kind of branches off of what Black and White had going with it about separating Pokemon and humans, but instead of separating them, it's it's more of Pokemon start rising up and thinking that they're better than humans, and, and it kind of explores the whole, you know, well, you know, do, do we have a right to say that they're not better than humans? I mean, they're stronger than us, and some of them are more intelligent than us. Um, I, I mean, I know this is going a little bit deep for a Pokemon game, but I think they could handle it. I mean, you know, some, some of, like, I'm remembering uh, some Team Plasma and Team Galactic speeches can get really deep on you and philosophical. Um, I'm using this because of, yeah, electric type. Ah, uh, oh, come on. But I, I think that that would be an interesting twist. Or just not have an evil team. How about that? I mean, you know, is, is that... And I, but I, I don't mean, like... I just mean not have, like, a villainous team. Because I guess technically some of the teams... You know, you could argue aren't purely villainous, um, like like Plasma had good intentions or whatever. Um, you know, even though its leader was pure evil, but um, but yeah, I, I I would like that that to be a shakeup. I would like there to be some kind of thing, and I would like I think it would be cool if there was an option to not be uh, to not want to be like the Pokemon master or whatever. I know this is weird to say. But, but just hear me out. You know how there's, like, contests and, you know, all pageants and all, all this sort of side stuff that they're going on? What if they, you know, they had that going on. They had some sort of, you know, beauty pageant contest thing going on. 
and they could have the gym battle thing going on. But what if the gym battles were optional? Okay, Magnemite's trying to learn Spark. Spark. 65. Yeah, that's better. Um, or maybe not make the gym battles optional. Maybe keep it the way it is with gym battles being mandatory. But maybe have more than one type of side thing going on. Maybe have contests. Maybe have, like, you know, some other types of mini games or something. To the point where you have options with where you want to go in the Pokemon world, what type of trainer you want to be. You know, you'd be you'd be the trainer that goes and you know, uh, you're meddling in Team Aqua's affairs. You're, you're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both. You're too cute. You're disgusting. I'll put you down, Kitty. But um, but have it where you know you'll be this you'll be battling the gyms and stuff. But you know maybe. Maybe you could be a different type of trainer, too. Maybe you could be a breeder, and there'd be more to do when it comes to, like, breeding. I, I don't know. I Um, can he hurt me? Oh, dark type, probably. I suppose it would... Oh, I should have healed up. Ugh. Um, I suppose it also would have been good to make sure Zombug is fast. Yeah, crunch. Because he's part ghost. Um... To make sure Zombug is fast, because if he's fast, then he can at least, like, dig first, and then, you know, avoid that first hit and get a hit in himself. That'd be useful. I don't know. He might already have, like, the Quick Claw or something. Awesome. Yeah, Magnemite. Ah, rough skin. Yeah, that's another thing I like about Carmenha. It has a cool, um, cool ability. Rough skin is pretty cool, where it hurts the other opponent if they make, I think if they make contact. Oh, shoot, this was a... So bad. I no, 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 no. Never mind. Um, I always get Mighty Ina confused with like Houndor and Houndoom. Um, you know, I, I and I think Mighty Ina is Fire type when it really isn't. I don't know. Is it just me or do, does like Mighty Ina and Hound Houndoom or Houndor or whatever? What do you call it? Don't, don't they look similar? They're they're two black dog looking like Pokemon. Um, and yeah, <laughs> that's about it. Oof. Magnemite, come on, man. Yeah, ignite that spark inside of you. Awesome, but you're not going to win this, so let's switch to make sure you get the experience. Um, Alright. Seeing as Mighty Ina is not fire type, we will go with Newman. Newman! Okay. Oof. Whoa! Alright. Ah, uh oh. Um. All right, Zombug. Just hope you're fast. Where you like avoid his moves or something. Nope. Dang it. Worth the try, I suppose. All right, Magnemite. You got one chance at this. I hope I have revives on me. <laughs> Yikes. This would be embarrassing. Oh, ho, ho, ho. snap! Yes, Magnemite. Oh, wow! I am glad I picked you up, man. Awesome. Take that, Shelly. <laughs> You're disgustingly strong. You disgust me. It's bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you. What makes you, what makes you want to sniff around in our business anyway? You're kind of blocking the road. I would have just kept walking if. Okay, whatever. We have a situation here. A Team Magma mob just passed the Weather Institute. They appear to be headed for Mount Pyre. What? We can't waste any more time here. We have to hurry off to Mount Pyre too. <laughs> team Magma, just you wait. Hmm. The thanks. Thanks to you, we're safe. It might be an odd way of thanking you, but take this Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I do such a bad job with these nerd characters. Cast form. No. Cast form. Cool. Change the shape according to the weather conditions. There's plenty of them in the institute. Go ahead and take it. Can't. Oh, I can't talk to those dudes. All right, whatever. Okay, let's see. Any of these have anything funny on them? No. Okay, can't read any of those. Um, cast form. Yeah, he's another gimmicky Pokemon, but he doesn't work so well, I find, because basically he changes depending on the weather, right? But, if you want to, like, be able to fully change him, you have to have three different type weather moves, which leaves him with one move left, and that one move is usually going to be, like, Weather Ball or something that changes depending on the weather. That's kind of one of his signature moves. 
right? Um, but I mean, like, yeah, we'll put we'll put Zombug out first. Uh, but like, so the problem with that is that his moveset's taken up if you want to like fully do that. And his stats, his stats are really aren't that good. Like, you know, I'd like to use him, and I, honestly, I'd even I'd try it if I again if we didn't have Zombug. I didn't put Zombug out front. I said I would, but I didn't. Um, if we didn't have Zombug already as our kind of gimmick Pokemon for the LP, I would I would go with Cast Form maybe, or why not? Because you know why not? Do 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 do. Do we? I don't think we have Waterfall yet, so I don't know if there's anything for us here. Probably not. But I do believe this is the very large body of water that uh, Feebas can be found in. And let me tell you, catching him is no easy feat. <laughs> I don't think I actually have caught a Feebas ever. Um, I think I traded for him uh, when I was completing my decks for Platinum. Oh! Something else. Hey, look who it is. Chainsmoker. Hey, Jay. Where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready for your Pokemon? Of course you are. <laughs> Let's go. I think I think that's the voice I gave May. I think I gave her this weird chain smoker gimmick thing. But all right, May. Three Pokemon. Wow, you're weak. Hey, you caught a Pelipper too. Hmm. All right, be that way. Um, Dig's gonna do nothing. Yeah. Yep. Dang it. Ah, Zombug. It's just he's not first party member material, unfortunately. You gotta really assess the situation with him. Uh, yeah. However, this would be a good matchup for Magnemite. Little Magnemite. He's so tiny, isn't he? So cute. Ah, oh, protect. Weak. Man, I hate it when they use protect, cause like, he's not even getting anything out of it. And now he's just spamming it. Or she, I guess, cause she being May and she being the female Pelipper. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be one thing if you were, if you would like poison me or something, which you can't do to Magnemite. But if you had poisoned one of my Pokemon and you were just kind of letting the poison run its course, installing with Protect. Um, but I mean, just using it, just to use it, is just kind of a waste. It's just a waste of my life. Waste of a turn. Waste of her life too, I guess. All right, come buskin. And I do believe. I could be wrong, but I do believe that the fire type in X and Y is not going to be firefighting. Yay! Granted, I still won't choose it the first time through, but because um, as you as you know, I always choose grass types the first time I play it. Um, and then the second time, it it depends. Usually, I pick water, but really, it, it just which, whichever Pokemon I kind of like more, mainly aesthetically, I guess you could say. Lombre. Yeah, Lombre, what is he, water grass? Um, yeah. yeah, Magnemite. Okay. Lombre. Lombre's a weird looking Pokemon, man. Look at his lipstick. I know it's not lipstick, but look at its mouth. Like, it looks like it's wearing lipstick. It looks so proud, too. It's looking off to the side. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm better than you. I'm not gonna make eye contact. You lowly Magnemite. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to provoke my Magnemite to attack it even stronger. Which reminds me, I don't I don't know how I would feel about if they changed up Pokemon battles. Um, on the one hand, you know, this is classic. Why fix something that's not broken? But on the other hand, could you imagine if they made, like, a Pokemon or a type of battle, maybe a specific type of battle like a double battle, but, like, under specific circumstances, where it was like a five move battle or something like that, where your Pokemon gained a fifth move, um, you know, or something, or or maybe you you could carry more than six Pokemon. What if maybe th this is maybe more Battle Frontier type stuff, like gimmicky battles? But wouldn't it be cool if you could battle with like twenty Pokemon or something? Like you know, it, it'd be a once you know one one specific type of tournament that you could do that. But I'll continue the thought in a second. But I had nothing, I had absolutely nothing to worry about. <laughs> Keep it up. And here, I have a present for you. Yay, HM2. I think that's fly. Is it fly? Fly? Fly! Yay! Fly in the sky. Okay. That'll make our lives a lot easier. I don't know if I'll teach it to Pelipper. Uh, but we gotta, ooh, we gotta get the next gym badge before we can even use it. Okay. I bet your mom's worried about you, AJ. 
And mind your own business, May. We'll meet again somewhere. But, um... Oh, okay. Never mind. Thought to be continued. Haha! <laughs> Way to go, AJ! I just passed by the trainer riding a bike. You just beat that trainer, didn't you? It's pretty obvious that you did. Heh. <laughs> kid looked really upset. With, with a face all red from anger. Now nah, that's just the smoking. She's out of breath. Riding her bike. I'm sure you're ready... I'm sure you, Yeah. I sure seem to run into you often. Are you off to Fortree Gym next? I expect that you'll do well at the gym. I'll be seeing you. Uh, speaking of the Battle Frontier, because that dude's related to it. Um, but I think it... God dang it, interruptions. Alright, Steve. Yeah, I don't care if you catch this Viper. Thank you. Okay, no more interruptions. Thought will be continued. Um, okay, Sue... Oh yeah, I, I can I can talk while I'm battling this dude. Um, but yeah, it would be cool if, if there was a specific type of Pokemon battle, you know, like you'd have to go into it. It wouldn't just be like you ran into a random changer, trainer and he was like, hey, let's battle with 20 Pokemon. But it would be a real test of your skill. How about maybe even if it was 17 and you got to pick one Pokemon of each different type? Like that would be insanely cool, wouldn't it? You know? Um, or, or if, I don't know, if there was a thing, kind of like how they do in the anime where... If you ran across a random trainer, it was basically like, you know, how many Pokemon would you like to use in this battle? You know, or if the trainer only had three Pokemon, you could only use three Pokemon. I mean, that only seems fair, right? I mean, I, I guess it's the way it is because if every trainer had all six Pokemon on them when you came across them, you'd have to keep, uh, you know, going to the Pokemon Center and healing. But still, it'd be cool if, if it was just like, you know, I only have three Pokemon on me. You want to play with three Pokemon? And, and then you'd be like, okay, cool, yeah. Be cool. Fabian. And you showed me who's the boss. We'll have to take the loss. Oh, no. Well, he just realized he has the rhyming spell. Hmm, hmm look, what an inconspicuous tree. To lurk in the shadows, live in the darkness. That is my destiny. I emerge to challenge you. All right, little pink-haired girl. Girl? Boy. Girl? Yeah, boy. Ninja boy Yasu. Hmm. You had pink hair in the overworld. Hmm. I guess they I guess the ninjas would like ninjask. Um Ninjask looks really big for a bug type. Ah, double team. Maybe it's just Magnemite's tiny in compar in yeah. Yeah, comparison. In comparison. Wow, I, I don't know why I struggled with that with that word. I thought it was a different word that I was Anyway. Um yeah, Magnemite's really small in this. It's weird, because coming off of playing Pokemon Snap, Magnemite proportionally seems to be a bit bigger than he is here. Uh, but, you know, that game's not known for being entirely accurate, you know, with their legendary Pokemon and eggs. Which I guess isn't unproven, we just don't know how to breed them, I suppose. Um, and their miscolored Pokemon and whatnot. Yasu! I admit defeat. Just don't uh, commit Saboku or whatever it's called. Something unseeable in the way. Oh, I see. Okay. Hmm. I guess I don't see, actually. <laughs> uh, to hide a tree, use a forest. Alright, fair enough. Also, to hide a ninja, use a forest. Uh, Hideo. I like how they have Japanese names. I guess that's a Japanese name. I don't know. Uh, it's definitely not an American name. Spark. Nice! Oh man, I'm, I'm liking this Magnemite already. Doing a good job. I think he evolves at like 33 or something? I don't know. A few of our Pokemon still have to evolve. Actually, most of our Pokemon still have to evolve. Um, and I think we're getting close. Let's see. Yeah. Although, I, I don't know. Like I said last episode, I'm still a little bit rusty in my Pokemon knowledge. It's I, It's been out of practice a bit. So, there's one or two Pokemon on my team that I'm not entirely sure if they do evolve, but I don't... Let's see. Yeah, I don't think they do. Alright, I'm not gonna list any because I look like a fool if I'm wrong. <laughs> That's a good way to do commentary, right? Just don't speak because you're terrified of being wrong. <laughs> That's what YouTube comments do to you guys. Please comment telling me how much... Uh, <laughs> uh, how much I get wrong. No, don't, don't actually do that. Um... Because yeah, that's one of the things when I do these let's plays, it's it's very off the cuff. You know, I I try to I try to put a disclaimer whenever I say a fact that this is just kind of something that I think is true, not necessarily true, unless it is actually true, in which case it's actually true. I see that item over there taunting me. Mm. I don't know why I picked those berries. It's kind of a waste of my time. You know, oh yeah, I think we need waterfall. Eh, not too worried. Okay, Sue. So, 
Here we are in Fortree City. What do you want, old man? The city consists of homes built on trees. Perhaps because of that lifestyle, everyone is healthy and lively. <coughs> Why, even myself, I feel as if I've grown 30 years younger. Yeah, I'm sure climbing those ladders is good for your health, old man. There are Pokemon that evolve when you trade them. That's what I heard. Hmm. Socialization bonus. Heal on up. And then I guess we'll go and take on the gym leader, provided nothing in this town gets in our way, which usually things in the town get in your way <laughs> when it comes to gyms. No. no, no, I don't want to do it again. Okay. Um, we'll get Zombug out of there. Who needs it next? Magnemite, I suppose. Although Magnemite's not too... Actually, whoa! Newman needs it even more than Magnemite. Huh. Alright. Um, I don't know what type gym leader the Fortress City gym is. It would be convenient if they were grass. So, yeah, forget exploring this town. It's it's a cool looking town. It's like they said, all up in the trees. But let's up. Okay, something in see is, seeable is in the way. Looks like we're gonna have to get caught up with shenanigans. Hey. What's the thing you have there? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's called the Pokedex. It's really awesome. Tell me things that I don't know, dude. Seriously. Come on. While speaking about Pokedexes, I remembered something. I met this trainer, Steven, when I was searching for rare stones. Hoo-hoo <laughs> boy, he had some amazing Pokemon with him. They weren't just rare, they were trained to terrifying extremes. He might even be stronger than the gym leader in this town. I can tell you something, he definitely is. No one believes me, but I saw this gigantic Pokemon in the sky. It seemed to squirm as it flew towards 131. By the way, you, uh, smell singed. Were you at a volcano or something? Lampshade hanging. Uh. There, go, bird Pokemon. He has a name, jeez. Hehe, <laughs> I asked my Wingle to run an errand for me. Little does he know I'm gonna move and he'll never be able to find me again. Mwahaha. <laughs> By being together with Pokemon, people make more and more friends. That brings the world closer together. I think it's wonderful. Yeah, it's great how we're using Pokemon for our own selfish means. Cool. I wanna go to the Pokemon gym, but there's something blocking the way. After all the bother I went to training on Route 120. Hmm. The ground absorbs rainwater, and the trees grow by drinking that water. Our Fortress City exists because there's both water and soil. Didn't mean for the, my voice to do that, but it did. Merchandise you buy here is sent to your own PC. That's fantastic. I wish they could also deliver to home by that. Oh, I think this is furniture, right? Okay. Yeah. I don't... <laughs> I don't actually remember if we went over the... Uh, I think we went over the secret fort thing. I'm pretty sure we did. But I can't say for certain. Living on top of trees is okay, but sometimes bug Pokemon come in through windows. <laughs> it can be really startling. Yeah, I'll bet, man. Pokemon and people have adapted to nature for survival. There's no need to make nature conform to the way we want to live. Okay. The tree is a fort tree or great. I think it's the number one town for living with Pokemon. I I'm doing all this because there's someone specific that we have to talk to, and I don't know who that is. Um, I don't know which... If it is one of these houses. War! I need it. I need... Uh, I have to get me a Volbeat. I'll do anything for it. Did you hear that? My shout from the bottom of my heart. Hearing that, you will trade Volbeat for my plus one. No! No, no, no. No, 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 no. No. Um, yeah. For, mostly because I don't have a Volbeat. But also partially because plus one kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So... Maybe that person that we're looking for isn't in town? Probably. Alright, well, I guess let's just uh, keep going on our journey, guys. Yeah, forget that, Jim. Who needs it, right? Why am I carrying this parasol? I'll tell you if you can win against me. She's Princess Peach. That's why she's carrying that parasol. Uh, no, definitely not. Lady Clarissa. Hmm. Maybe she'll explain to me why she's holding that parasol. <laughs> uh, I guess it's a good time to point out. Um, I have another channel. I have like a few other channels, but my main channel is my Pagai Rules channel. If you don't know, you should probably know this. But I talk about cartoons and kids shows and all sorts of stuff there. That's why I make references to it here. And oh no, they were s wow. She's pretty smart when it comes to type matchups. And they're pretty smart. I mean. She's actually an AI who has some basic knowledge of how... Oh, no, how in trouble she is by... Yeah. 
coming up against a fire Pokemon with a Pokemon that's weak to fire. Water Pulse. Spark. Uh-oh. Nah. Trapped in the vortex. <laughs> that reminds me of when, uh, what was it? Rap. Was it Rap or Bind? One of those was broken back in Gen 1. That infamous fight with Erica where she kept using Rap and I just kept not being able to do anything. Or, or Bind or something. It was one of those, like, that sticks you. Do, do, do. Zilea. Don't you be leeching my seeds. Yeah. Alright, as, as you can tell, I, I've pretty much run out of things to talk about during these battles. So, I think we're going to end the episode fairly soon. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. I think we're doing pretty good battle-wise. Especially for being a bit rusty. I think I think we're assembling a pretty good team here. I guess I guess I'll I'll make sure to get our last Pokemon before we face off against like the last gym leader or the second to last gym leader or something like that. I'll 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 look into it. I'll look into which one I want to get because usually it doesn't happen that I just run across the Pokemon because um, I try to avoid wild battles as much as I can. Um, I don't think you'd have anything that would be good against me. Go Zumbug. Oh, no, not Mind Re- Ah, oh, Snarf. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm paralyzed. I think if she used uh, Leech Seed on me, I might be in trouble. <laughs> Took aim, okay. Yep. Well, uh... If I kill it this turn, I, d I guess this Zumbug won't die. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes! Or, I mean, will he die? Okay. He probably... Okay, no. I, I mean, I didn't care if he fainted. I just I wanted to make sure he got the experience for doing that. Um, but, guys, let's, I guess let's see what's up here. We got a lot accomplished this episode. We, uh, we made it to the next town. We, we fought off Team Aqua. And we found that there are some invisible things in our way. And we found one rare candy. How rare. And how candy-licious. So with that, I will bid you guys adieu. Pie Guy Rules, out.